Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're gonna to discuss this concept of recovery workouts. So in our video yesterday, we discussed two different types of workouts, weightlifting workouts and aerobic or cardiovascular workouts, and how we don't really wanna to try to combine them. We wanna keep them separate so that we can have our cardiovascular uh, adaptations and so that we can have our uh, muscular adaptations that we're looking for. Now, I like to make kind of a, a different type of aerobic workout in a recovery workout. That, at least that's what I call it. So what I'm doing here, what, what is different about this is my heart rate doesn't come quite as high. It's, it's maybe a little bit lower. I probably, you know, peak at no higher than 150 beats per minute, depending on how old you are. Um, if you're older, that peak is going to be lower and that's normal. Um, and then, you know, my stipulation is just it. So here's the, this is, let me just put you in it in the scenario that I use this. So I have a client who comes in and they say, man, I'm really tired after this. It's been a really long week. What should I do tomorrow? Should I still do my workout? And I say, you should go in and work out. What I want you to do is take the normal, maybe the normal lift that I wrote, I want you to double the reps and have the weight. And I just want you to keep moving, maybe even have the rest as well. So you're just kind of scurrying along. The workout won't take quite as long. It doesn't have that same uh, element of I need to get hyped to get this workout done. But you still sweat and your heart rate still gets elevated. What happens here, at least the way that I like to think about it, is people you know, increase the blood flow in their body and it allows for transport to happen. And so if I have byproducts in my body that need to be moved in like one part of my body, maybe in my muscle cells or whatever, that need to be moved out and new stuff needs to be taken in. Maybe it's like dead cells and the debris needs to be taken away or something like that. Um, that little surge of blood flow will help with that, but it's not so stressful that my body is revolting, that I need a lot of um, um, like mental excitement, like a, a lot of motivation. I don't need a lot of that for a recovery workout, but I still get a lot of the benefits of a workout, maybe not the long-term muscle building adaptation or anaerobic threshold pushing that I'm looking for, but that's not the goal right now. I've already been training those things. I train those things on other days. The goal right now is to be able to recover from all of that stuff and maybe all of the rest of your life. And, uh, <laughs> feel a little bit better so that the next time you do come in for your workout, you'll feel like you can actually push yourself. Now, that is like my entire stance on that, but what I tend to see is that people who don't take care of the rest of their life always come in this way. They're always stressed out, they're always tired, and I always feel like I need to give them a recovery workout. I never get to give them a fitness workout. So, if you're gonna be taking advantage of something like this, you have to at least have a set amount, you should have more fitness workouts than you have recovery workouts. Um, you know, the, I just got so many examples, and I'm sure you've, you've been there, it, it happens. Um, but you have to think that at some point, your lack of fitness is a lack of recovery. And so if you have had a stressful day, sometimes you can blow off steam by doing actually a really good workout. So even though you've had a stressful day, sometimes the answer isn't to take it easy. Sometimes it is to kind of ramp up.